cloudy like this, it seems to have them kind of pulled off. They can kind of just get off stuff. They don't really get pulled up to the grass patches as tight, I don't feel. So I'm hoping the sun, even though we're still gonna have this 25 mile an hour wind we're dealing with, hoping the sun at least positions some fish in the grass and get some feeding in certain spots where you can kind of target them. Cause right now it's really random. You get one and you kind of got to just keep covering water and get, you know, a few more. But uh, it's been tough for me the last two, three days. I mean, I'm not on anything great. It'll be surprising to see. Uh, you could take everything we've learned in the last three days, I think, and some of that you'll be able to throw right out and just start over. So, and, and I've been fortunate enough to stay pretty consistent um, two years running now in all these events. So if my fortune stays the way it has, I hope tomorrow uh, we get out of here with a win and, and maybe an Angler of the Year award. But we still have the championship too, so there'll be some points some guys can gain there. But as it stands now, it's been fun. It's been a really fun year. We've, uh, we've gone to some amazing fisheries. And when I've had my toughest practice, which was Lahamadu and Leech, I finished third in both of those, I caught them the best. So Vermilion, I thought I was really gonna smash them. I'm like, oh, this is, and I just got my butt kicked. I ended up seventh, but, so I'm hoping at this one, with a little bit more of a tough practice, that if I figure it out on the fly, I can get back up in the top, you know, three or, you know, try to win this thing. It's, uh, it's really gonna come down to probably two or three of us tomorrow. There's gonna be a shootout for a couple of us chasing this thing.